So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. We're down here in Lancaster County today. It's absolutely, it's hot today. Up in the 90s again. Still going through this heat wave, but anyway, every summer comes with a heat wave, so. But as we often do, when these heat waves, when these heat waves come, we're gonna do a bit of a stream walk today. Try to keep cool. So this is called Hammer Creek right here. Not the creek we're gonna be walking up. That's where I started. There's like an amazing old dam here. Right up the way is, uh, you can probably hear the traffic. That's Route 322. We're just uh, west of the Route 322, Route 501 intersection. If you're familiar with the area, if you're not, it doesn't really matter. But up a ways here is another stream called Walnut Run. And I think that's what we're gonna go explore today. I think there's some ruins right up here too. I think Walnut Run maybe flows in right up there. Even right up through here are some ruins. Like I filmed here some time ago. Check that out. An old like a uh, sluice gate or something you could call it. You used to control the water flow. Here's another, here's another dam. To bust it out on this side. You can see that it's hold the water back up there and this old thing would drop or close to keep the water in there. That is a cool shot there. I believe this is Walnut Run. A little bit of a smaller tributary. Quick walk up here, take a look at this. Yeah, I love like the old, the old gear mechanism up there. All right. Obviously, there are parts missing. There's a log jammed in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep heading up Walnut Run here, see what all we can find. We'll have to deal a little bit with traffic noise for a bit, but sometimes it's just the way it is. But as always, we'll be looking for historical stuff, like the stuff we just saw. Maybe we'll find some Native American artifacts, like an arrowhead. That would be awesome, because we, we get, you know, looking along the gravel and sandbanks here, seeing all we can find. And just trying to stay cool, temperature-wise. <laughs> Although there is air conditioning at home. You know, it gets, gets kind of old just sitting at home, too, on a hot day. Even though it's air conditioned inside. I'm an outdoors person, I like to be outside, so. All right, so we'll, uh, We'll see what we can find. I guess we'll go through the tunnel. We could just walk across the road here. This is not the main highway, just a smaller road off here, but we'll go through the tunnel, of course. Yeah, lots of... Uh, gravel bars here to keep our eyes open for any artifacts that might be out here. Oh, got some wine berries over here. That one's ripe. This right here is a popular spot though. There's another parking lot right up there. A lot of people come down here and hang out. You see the trash and the little dams they make. So probably won't find any too many artifacts right here. We'll keep on going. Right, we've got one of those ebony jewel wing damselflies up there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. That's the male right there. If it wasn't for the traffic noise just off to our left, it would feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. The highway is literally right up there, but you can't really see it through the brush. Yeah, now we're literally right next to the highway up there. But there is a there is a trail 
You can see a trail right there, but there's a bigger trail that goes that parallels the creek here too. We won't find any artifacts if we don't walk in the creek. Surprisingly, not a lot of trash in here either. Considering we're right next to the highway, I thought there'd be some more modern stuff in here. Just looking for anything out of place. Just came across a bunch of these uh, tiger swallowtails. I'm zooming on the one there. They are beautiful. Yeah, they were all... They're still flying around, but they were all down. Yeah, they're, they're going back down there. I think they're drinking down there. Right down there. There was a whole bunch of them down there. And further upstream, there are even more of them. Quite a few of them, actually. Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, even with the traffic noise, it's still a nice walk through here. Obviously, I would prefer a little quieter, but... Not a bad little walk. You're just taking a closer look at these gravel beds. The thing is, your eyes... So start tending to play tricks on you too, making you see things that are not really there. Like this kind of caught my eye, but it's just a stone. Almost looks like an arrowhead, sort of, but I'm not seeing anything in here. And somewhere down this way too is a place called the Potato Patch. Bugs are getting bad. That's, I'm not sure how popular it is anymore, but it was this like big boulder area, but there was tons of like spray paint graffiti there. I think it's up this way somewhere. Not going, not going there today though, but I think we're in that area. Lots of, lots of bedrock. Definitely not the first person to be through here recently. I think I see some other suspicious structures up here. We're getting close to where people park for that, uh, what I call the potato patch. Try and get up this thing here. Yeah, this is definitely man made. Or is it? <laughs> is there a Sasquatch out here? Speaking of which, I have something to say about that. Yeah, the trash, yeah. We're getting close to that potato patch spot. Lots of truck traffic. Yeah, so like I said, speaking of Sasquatch, I am planning on doing, starting a new series called Bigfoot in Pennsylvania. So I'm not gonna say too much about it in this video, but it's the wheels have been turning for quite a while. Just gonna research different stories and legends that are found in Pennsylvania. Supposedly Pennsylvania is the third state when it comes to Bigfoot sightings. It's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of working on working on that. Should be should be fun. Looks like we got a slug down here. 
It's kind of chilling there. Yeah, check this out. We're right next to the highway. Man, it is it is washing out here. You know, a couple more floods and it's gonna wash that road out right there. Oh, it already kind of is. We're gonna deal with that soon. This is kind of cool. Right next to the highway, we got a little cascading waterfalls. Not the nicest, quietest spot, but it's kind of cool also. All right, so I've obviously left the creek, which is down there. Just kind of making my way back on this trail. To be honest, I am getting a little tired of the traffic noise. This is almost a little bit too much. We're almost like right next to, well, we are right next to the highway at times there. Nice little stream, but a little bit, a little bit too much. But it did get, but I don't regret coming out here today though. Nice to get out into nature a little bit. We did see some nature stuff, some butterflies and damselflies, little waterfalls, little traffic. And I got to uh, let you know about that new series I'm gonna be working on here soon. Bigfoot in Pennsylvania.